Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is the part two of FMT important topics for MBBS theory exams. In this part two, we'll be talking about the toxicology important topics, and there are few tips and tricks I want to tell you, but that will be in the end of the video. So make sure you watch it till the end. So let's get on with it. The PPT of the general FMT part and the toxicology part will be combined and given in my Telegram channel, whose link will be given in the description box. So make sure you go to the description box and join my Telegram channel because it has all my notes and this PPT also. Then uh, let's start with toxicology. Section two eighty four IPC and section thirty nine CRPC. These are the some questions which can be asked in Viva. Like what is this? Then classification of poisons. This is the first thing that you have to do while reading toxicology. You have to know which uh, poisoning comes under what, which comes under what, what poison is what, because these are all MCQ questions and it can also be asked as a short note. Then duties of doctor in case of poisoning. This came in my exam, so I know it's very important. So don't miss this. And gastric lavage. Um, its evolved tube is also spotted in the FMT practical. So gastric lavage is a very good topic and same as activated charcoal, universal antidote, chelating agents. These are the topics which uh, you have to read but chelating agents and gastric lavage are more important. Then comes organophosphorus compounds uh, and its poisoning. It is a very important uh, poisoning because it is very common in India. So please don't miss it. It is a very important topic. Alpha's poisoning is a read through topic. Sulfuric acid poisoning again a read through topic. But vitrolage is something very very important. Uh, as you can see, the one which have been marked with a lot of star marks, they are very much frequently asked. So please don't miss these topics. Then oxalic acid, sorry for the spelling mistake, and carbolic acid, or also known as phenol. These are good topics, read through topics. Difference between arsenic poisoning and cholera. It's a very important topic. As you can see, the, the amount of stars I have given it, and you have to know it. It comes under acute arsenic poisoning, and chronic arsenic poisoning can be another short note. Okay, then chronic mercury poisoning, chronic lead poisoning, plumbism, very very important. So like OPC, arsenic, mercury, lead, these are some topics in toxicology which you cannot miss. Metal fume fever or Monday morning fever, it's a read through topic. Difference between phosphorus and red phosphorus is again a good question. Fossy jaw, Lucifer's jaw, glass jaw. It is uh, like chronic phosphorus poisoning. It comes under that, so read through it. Then in this, croton, tiglium, resinas, arbus picatorius, ergot, semicarpus and acadium, calotropis. These are all the plant poisonings, and you have to know the image. You have to know the active principle, and you have to know the medical legal importance. These are the three things you have to know because these are asked a lot in the FMT practical. Okay. So you in these the plant poisonings you these are used as spotters. So please see their image, their active principle, their uh, medical legal importance, and their images. Then difference between dhatura and chilli seeds or capsicum seeds. It's a very 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 important topic. Almost in every viva it is asked, and uh, you have to see the image of these also. Okay, so very important topic, and sui. Uh, so he is also very important and it were, can be asked in the viva then difference between true and artificial brews again a must know topic uh, can obviously come in your uh, exams because the marking nut is used to create the artificial bruises then snakes snakes is a topic which you cannot miss because snake poisoning is something which is very common in india in the farmers in the villages area so snake poisoning is a must do topic so difference between venomous and non venomous snakes again important please see the images you will understand it better difference between neurotoxic venom and vasculotoxic venom like which is used in viper which is in cobra or crane Signs and symptoms of snake poisoning, post mortem findings of snake poisoning, and management of snake poisoning is something you should know. Management is also important. There are uh, so many mnemonics, and I hope I'll be releasing a video soon on all the mnemonics I have in toxicology part. Um, so make sure you subscribe to my channel, and I'll be uploading that soon. Then morphine poisoning, opium poisoning. It's also a good topic. You have to do it because. Yeah, it's an important topic. When body pack and body stuffer syndrome, this also came in my exam, and it's a very important topic. 
and uh, alcohol poisoning alcohol is a topic which you cannot miss you have to know what about everything about alcohol you have to know so read through the whole uh, alcohol uh, thing all the paragraphs of alcohol section 85 ipc again important it can be asked in viva or any mcq and drunkenness examination of a drunkenness case it's more of a practical thing bit marks formula delirium tremens read through these topics vernicke's encephalopathy again a read through topic coma cocktail viva question korsakoff psychosis not much asked but a read through topic the thura poisoning is a topic which will be asked and it is a very 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 important and it is a very good mnemonic that everything every sign and symptoms in datura poisoning starts with the letter d okay so datura in d everything all the signs and symptoms are starting from d so it's a very good topic and uh, must know topic okay cannabis cocaine again very important strychnos nux vomica and difference between the strychnine poisoning and tetanus is a very important topic okay uh econite and carbon monoxide and lysergic acid diethylamide and these are some read through topics date rape drugs date rape drugs sorry is also important so this is all about toxicology it's a very big unit but i've tried to cover all the major important uh, topics in the toxicology part and if you want to see the important topics of general fmt and these are given in another video part 1 of the fmt important topics and now thank you so much and some few tips and tricks these are that whenever you write any uh, poisoning questions you have to know the firstly write like this name of the poison the uh, category in which that poison belongs their active principle the fatal dose the fatal period the signs and symptoms the post mortem findings and the management okay the post mortem findings is an important part in fmt and other things like diagnosis it's not so important as per fmt so please focus on the name of the poison category of the poison active principle of the poison fatal dose fatal period signs and symptoms post mortem findings and management then in post mortem findings whenever you are writing now write heading of all organs and because most of them of the organs in the uh, post mortem finding will be congested so if you cannot remember anything and you have a long answer question you have to write the post mortem findings right most of the organs will be congested okay so this is just a tip it's not in every case of poisoning but it's just a tip and um, remember only the highlighted points and mnemonics you don't have to cover everything about a poison just the highlighted points and the mnemonics personally when i read biswas there were lot of mnemonics given and i hope i will be compiling them all and producing them to you in a very good video and i'll be releasing that soon so make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay with me and see all these amazing things thank you for your support thank you for watching my video